This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through your Palomino Solar 147X hybrid. Okay, so I'm here at the back of the trailer on the door side. So you've got folding steps, which will be cleaned off for you by the time you get here. We're still getting it ready. And uh, you can adjust the legs on these steps by pulling this pin here and adjusting the legs by, by uh, moving the holes up and down. Okay, you got a TV mount, you got antenna out and power, and outside speakers, a vent for your range hood fan. So, you, uh, when you use the range hood fan, you want this to flap freely, this baffle in here, otherwise you want to push it short, shut so it, it doesn't flap. You only open it up when you're going to use the fan. Okay, your water heater works on both gas and electric. So you can see that there's a switch right here. Let me get a better shot of it. On and off, that, that activates the heating element that's behind this plate here, this cover. So to turn on the electrical part of it, to use the electrical heating element, which is the most common thing to use, you'll just turn it on and off right here. To, to light the gas, you do that inside the trailer. I'll show you that when we get in there. Your drain plug is right here one and one sixteenth inch socket um, and that is your pressure release valve there always release the pressure here before you take the uh, the uh, plug out because it'll come shooting out of there like a cannonball so you have to be careful never run the water heater without water in it ever this is your hitch we'll show you how it's set up um, when you get here but uh, you can go to it's a husky center line so you go to husky center line they've got great videos for it We'll just show you the same thing so you can always refresh your memory. You've got a stabilizer jack in each corner. That's a three quarter inch socket or this crank right here. You can see up against the wall there. Um, you, most people use a drill with a socket on it these days. Um, this is a connection. If you want to buy a solar panel that'll charge your battery, you would hook it up right here and it'll just charge your battery. All right. Two 20 pound LP tanks. Deep cycle marine battery. This is your LP regulator here. Now, uh, this is your power tongue jack. I just want to show you that there's a plug on the top here. You can see that. Um, the same crank you use for the stabilizers, if, if this ever, thing ever dies on you, you can pull this plug out, put the crank on there, and crank this manually. Okay, this is where you get water into your trailer. So, the most common way is this one right here, which is city water. You'll just hook your hose up turn on the water and you're all set. Now if you go to a campground that doesn't have plumbing on the campsite, um, you can use the onboard fresh water tank, so you would fill that right here. Okay, and then there's an electric pump inside that'll pump the water. So if you, even if you don't have plumbing on the campsite, you still can have all your, your toilet and your, your shower and your sinks and all that. All right, the fresh water drain is that pet cock down there. That is the vent for your furnace. That is the service panel for your refrigerator. You don't really have to go in there, but this hose should always be hanging out is for condensation. That is your exterior shower for kids and dogs and feet. All right, this is where you flush your trailer. You dump your trailer. Uh, you'll put the hose right on here. The other end goes into the dump station, of course. This large valve with the black handle is obviously the black tank valve. The gray one, smaller, is the gray tank. The black tank is toilet water and waste. The gray tank holds sink and shower water. So what you're going to do is you're going to dump this one first. You just pull the gate valve out like that and it'll come wishing out. Um, then after that dumps you're going to dump the gray water tank. The gray water tank it just has cleaner dirty water than the black tank does so you do that second to help clean out your hose. But then after that you have a black tank flush on this one. So you have to make sure the valve is open You'll put your hose at the dump station on there, you'll turn it on, and the black tank has jets inside. It'll spray the inside of the tank out and clean it out really well. Just always make sure you open this valve before you turn on the water. All right, this is for your power cord. It's 30 amp, 25 feet long. This is just cable and satellite through to the entertainment area. We have a swing out TV, bre or excuse me, a swing out. Uh, uh, grill bracket. The grill is inside the trailer. I'll show you that when we get in there. But it hangs right on here. This is a quick connect 
fitting here to hook up your your line so you're going to put the you're going to pull this back you're going to put the male end in there of the hose in there and then you're going to use this this valve right here and turn it on just like that this is the hose here this is the male end you would put in there and the other end has a female just like the one underneath except it doesn't have a valve but you use that and that will uh plug into the into your grill all right so you have a power awning too i don't know if i mentioned that but you have a power awning so to drop your your bunk you're just gonna pull this down like so move this over here like that i'm doing this one-handed so it, bear with me i'm not going to be getting good pictures all the time it's kind of hard to do one, everything one-handed but here we go so it's coming down like so so there you have it then you're going to take the skirting you're going to pull it over the corners like that okay let me come over here and do the same thing then you're going to come in here now this this was the strap that was holding the mattress in place when it's in the up position so you know but you see when i, I closed it excuse me when i when I folded it up, I know you can't see very well, so bear with me. So I gotta set this down for a second because I have to use both hands. I'm pushing the mattress into place. Two-handed job for sure. Okay. So I push the mattress into place. You can see when I put it down, folded it up, I guess you would say. This, I got the crossbow and and the the bar in the crease of the mattress right so it folds right inside of it this is the best way to do it so then I'm gonna put the pole on this little nub here hook it on there. excuse me for a minute okay so it's on there you'll probably get, you'll probably get seasick from watching this video here and then you're going to come back here like this. You're going to put this right on here. Like so. I'm going to use one hand so it's kind of difficult. There we go. So it's hooked on there like that. And you're all set. You have it. That's all there is to it. The front works the same way. Okay? Now when we're putting it back up, we're going to take this off here. All right. We're going to lay it in the crease. We're going to bring the cross down then we're gonna I'll back up so you can see it then we're gonna work the mattress around till the crease is where it should be which is right there then you have to fold this piece there so it's not as thick otherwise it won't close all the way so you got it like this then we're gonna come back out here hopefully I can do this while holding the phone we'll see we're gonna find out soon enough so here we go. So you push this up like so. Then I'm gonna have to set the phone a couple times a couple times. You see the the canvas is sticking out, you're gonna have to tuck it in. So let me set this down. So I've tucked 